What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Joe from Hogging Out. This is going to be part two in my series, Your First Baby Hog News. Now, my first series has to do with receiving and setting up your terrarium. Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, guys, I'll link it down below or check out the playlist. In this video, guys, we're going to go over handling your first baby hognu snake. Now, making an appearance today in this video is Nirvana. He is a male arctic conda, and he's very docile. He's very easy to handle, which I do enjoy. And to be honest with you, it took me about two months before he became docile. And once you handle your baby for quite some time, I would say about a month or two, they will become easier to handle just like uh, Mr. Nirvana here. Now, what I recommend is handling your baby hog news for about three to five minutes in the beginning for about a month or two. And after that, you go hold them for about 10 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes, a half an hour, as long as they're docile and easy to handle. Now, in the beginning, your hog news might be a little skittish. They might want to try to get out of your hands and they might be going from hand to hand to hand real quick. But what I do is, and I got a couple videos here for you guys, is what I like to do if they do do that is stick your hand in front of them like I am doing right now to Nirvana. And what they do is they try to come back. See how he's coming back now? Well, he was coming back, but you stick your hand in there and eventually they will calm down after a few minutes. Now, if you keep on doing this and repeating this tactic... Uh, it, it does work. At least it does work for me. They tend to bowl up in your hand afterwards. And they'll sit there for a few minutes easily. Now, when you open up your terrarium, guys, and you want to go pick up your hog nose, now the beginner, if it's your first time, your first baby hog nose, and you have never picked up a hog nose before or a snake before, do not be afraid. When you go in for your first time to pick up your baby, try not to go over them because if you cast a shadow, they will bluff strike you and you will scare them. Also, when you do do it, do not do it too slow. Don't be afraid to just go in there on the side and just grab and pick them up. They will have no problem with it whatsoever. Just make sure you do it fast and quick and just grab them. And you know what? It's less stress on them when you first pick them up. Now, there's many reasons when you should not hold your baby hog nose snake. Number one would be after they eat, at least give it a full 24 hours before you even think about picking up your baby again. Another example on when you should not pick up your baby hog nose is during the shedding process. I know a lot of people do pick them up during the shedding process, but they are very scared. They cannot see too good because they have the bluish eyes and they get fogged up. And uh, I do not recommend picking up your baby uh, when they are in shed. And I also would wait at least two days after shed to pick them up. Now, Nirvana here just shed it three days ago, and his colors are popping right now. He looks so beautiful. And look how docile he is. He doesn't mind being held. All right, Nirvana, say bye. I'm going to put you back in your terrarium. I held you for about five, ten minutes right now, so we're going to let him go back to his terrarium and have a good night's sleep. Now, when you put your babies in your terrarium, like you will see in this video, just lower your hand down and just let them crawl right out of your hand. Now, that being said, guys, hog noses do have different personalities. And Nirvana in the beginning was very skittish, but now he is very docile. And Autumn is still skittish, but when I go in there and I grab her and I hold her, she's fine. She's docile. She's easy to handle. Same with Annie. Annie just sits there. Annie doesn't try to get away when I go to grab her. She's very cool, very docile. Again, I love using... That's a great word. I love that word, docile. Now, speaking of personalities, guys, that's going to be my next care video. It's going to be my next video in this series, Your First Baby Hog News. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Now I understand there's gonna be people that may criticize this video, but this series is about your first baby hog news. It's for individuals that have never had a snake before and they're in the market purchasing a hog news snake. So hopefully this series helps you when you receive your first baby hog news. Guys, thanks for watching, I do appreciate it. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. And if you have an Instagram account, go check me out over there, Hogging Out NJ. Every two to three days, I post either short video clips or pictures of my hog noses, either feeding or just chilling. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. You have a great week. I'll see you in the next video. This is Joe from Hogging Out. I'm out. Cheers.